Hey guys, how's it going? First day, this is my first day working out, first day back after being sick again. Ugh, I believe, let's all say it together with power, for the last time in 2013, I declare it. just about, you see that? I'm almost at 489. I just did turbo fire and uh, I don't know if you can really see the sweat. Yeah, you can. You can see some of it. Mr. Flow, Mr. Flow and whoever it was that was critiquing my flexing, um, not posing for a competition. <laughs> it's just a little thing we do here and if you don't like the way I flex, don't keep, quit hurting my feelings. That's, that's a lie. You're not hurting my feelings. You just annoy me. Um, anyway, <sighs> forgive me. Um, I guess I should bring everybody up to date because while I've been sick this week and taking it easy, and I finally took it easy, I've still been um, letting some of my old videos or the videos that I shot beforehand um, go live. Um, so here's the deal. I finally had to really teach myself a lesson and I think that part of the reason that I've been so sick and then sick again and then sick again um, and I also didn't know that having a lot of dental work can contribute to this found that out this week um, is I just never really really and even the doctor said this week he's like I don't think you ever got better from the first time um, and I think I've mentioned to you guys and you probably saw in my videos <coughs> that even after, so when I first got the strep throat after coming back from vacation, you know, I finished the antibiotics and then was feeling great for two days. And um, then it was like two days later, uh, it was on a Sunday, and I started to get like a sore throat again, just a real dry, scratchy throat, but enough that I'm like, I better rest and whatever. So I rested that day, and then the sore throat lasted a whole week. You know, I got hoarse, I lost my voice, it kept hurting more. Went to the doctor. That's when they said I had walking pneumonia. But anyway, um, this weekend, this past weekend, was a memorial weekend, right? And had a great weekend. Um, we went to a cookout on Sunday, worked out that morning. Didn't bring my towel. My mouth feels a little gummy. Anyway, um, worked out uh, Monday morning, Memorial Day, went to the cookout, and I'm trying to think if maybe it was by the time we got home. Anyway, I'm not quite sure, but it was somewhere Monday night, Tuesday morning, that I woke up, and well, I could feel by that night that my glands were getting swollen, and I, it was starting to hurt when I swallowed, um, just a little bit. That's what it was, because I had my dentist on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Went to the dentist, got my mouth blasted out again. Um, so I've now had two root canals here, one root canal here and then one root canal this time. Um, and really the only thing that's left to do are my crowns, uh, fix one tooth that needs a, a, like an implant or something, and then deep cleaning, and then we're just set to go. Um, but I was at the dentist Tuesday. By the time I was leaving, then my throat really hurt. And I remember thinking to myself, Oh, I'm sure my throat's hurting just because of the dental work, because I had my mouth open, and, and it did hurt. It was really dry the last time. And, you know, sometimes that's because you're, you're sitting there with your mouth open, and you're not swallowing, and you don't have any, you know, whatever. So I was like, please, just let it be the dentist. Just let it be the dentist. Well, by the time I went to bed Tuesday night, gosh, I guess it hasn't been as long as I thought. By the time I went to bed Tuesday night, uh, my, I just felt really sick. My glands were swollen. Got up Wednesday morning and it was it hurt so much to swallow and I dreaded going into the restroom because I knew I was going to take the flashlight and look at my throat and I looked at my throat and I had the white welts all over the sides of my tonsils and apparently if you watch my videos in the past that's what Michael says is you know the sign of strep or whatever so I'm like are you freaking kidding me like really <laughs> how much more stuff can happen. I'm so tired of hearing myself talk about this, you guys, but here's the thing. I went to the doctor on Wednesday, and they were kind of like, hey, what's up? She's back. Um, but I went to the doctor, and he immediately looked, and he's like, you've got 
I don't know if he said I had strep throat and tonsillitis. I think what they uh, diagnosed me with was tonsillitis. I don't know the difference. Either one's really bad. Um, and I told him at that time kind of, you know, the history that I'd been sick in February, rescheduled my vacation, went on my vacation right away, worked on my vacation, came home, got strep throat right after my birthday, went on the antibiotics, went off the antibiotics, two days later, sore throat again, sore throat all week, walking pneumonia, got better like after a couple of weeks, and now this. And he basically said, I don't think you ever got better from the first dose. I told him about the biaxin and how the last doctor had said that I could stop the biaxin, and I'm like, look, if you want me to take the biaxin, I will take it. I just need to get better and get totally better. I cannot, I just can't, oh, I'm like losing my mind. With the dental work and feeling sick and whatever, I'm, I'm going insane. Like, I, I've, I feel like I've been saying to Michael for seven weeks, I'm so excited, next week I'm gonna be back on at 100% and then something happens and I'm like, whether it's the dental work or being sick, it's been it's been one or the other, and I have not had a full week for probably seven weeks, if not more. I'd have to go back and look at the calendar. So anyway, he gave me a prescription. Um, it's different because um, he told me I wouldn't have to take the um, Biaxin. I think it's Augmentin or something. Um, taking that twice a day, and you know, I came home and I was like. He said, you've just got to be sure you really, really rest. And he said, you probably didn't rest. You probably pushed it too hard. And you guys, I have to be honest, you know, the whole, that's the bad part about me working, you know, and ha having working, the ability to work from home means that you can work all the time. And I own my own company, right? So it's my baby. And it's very hard for me to have a sore throat and you know it's not like I'm throwing up or you know dying with a horrible fever so it's hard for me to just sit it's hard for me to just watch TV when I start my mind starts going and I start going oh, I should do this I should do this and then I'm like I justify it and say well I can just go in there and I'm just typing I'm not really doing anything bad well the thing is I'm not resting I'm getting my mind working and clearly you know I also jumped into working out probably too soon full force so this week I started taking the pills on Wednesday. I was very surprised. Um, they didn't work as fast as they did last time. Um, so Thursday, I didn't feel any better. Friday, I barely felt a little bit better. And it wasn't until today's Saturday. No, is today Saturday or is today Sunday? Golly, I didn't even know what day it was. Today's Saturday. It really wasn't until uh, yesterday afternoon, about five o'clock, that I, I started to go wow, I can actually swallow and it's not hurting. I don't feel like I have a golf ball in there. And then I took the flashlight and looked at my throat and the, the white welts were gone. You guys, I gotta tell you something. <laughs> These, the first time when I looked in my throat, I've never done that before. I didn't know until Michael told me that if you look in your throat and you see the, the white spots on the back of your tonsils, that that's a sign of strep. So I feel kind of cool that I know this insider knowledge. Um, <clears throat> but this time when I looked, the first time when I saw the, there were spots. This time, they were like big stripes, big welts on my tonsils, and it was really gross. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna gross you out. <sighs> it's probably not that gross. Maybe it is, I don't know. But when I went and I looked, the, the place where the, um, the, the white stripes or welts or whatever they are, like it's, it's almost as if someone went in there and pulled them out and then there was like a gaping hole. Like, it's almost like, they look like a muscle. And then it's like somebody had pulled the muscles out and then there was holes where the muscles were. I was freaking myself out. I was like, oh, ew. So, but today, I guess maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know, I have to look again, but it looks like they're all smooth. So I don't know, maybe they just go, who knows? I have no idea what I'm seeing. All I know is it's gross. And all I know is I'm glad that I woke up today. As you can see, I have energy. Um, I can swallow without it being excruciatingly painful. Um, that's an exaggeration, it wasn't excruciating, but very painful. Um, and um, I don't have the white welts on the back of my throat. So the other thing is though, I forced myself, and you guys might not think this is a big deal, but I really had to force myself Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to literally not work out, um, even though I wanted to. Mentally, I kept telling Michael, I'm like, I really, really wanna work out. And he and my mom were both like, don't push it, stop it, you need to rest. I rested, I watched movies, I sat out on my deck, I forced myself to reschedule my, my meetings for next week, 
or excuse me, my meetings for this week, moved those calls to next week. And, um, and I rested and I didn't work out until this morning. Um, and I did ask permission. I'm almost at, I'm at 10 minutes right now, so I have to shut up very soon. Um, but anyway, all that to say, you guys, I don't ever want to be sick again. I haven't been sick in years and years and years. And I feel like I've made up for it all like the past couple of months. And so I made sure to, to rest, to not work out until I felt it was safe. And here's the thing. So I also got on the scale this morning and I was a little annoyed to see that the scale had been up two pounds. Now, do you think I'm gonna really let it piss me off? Because to be honest with you, so I haven't weighed myself since, uh, I think I weighed myself Sunday. And Sunday I was 138.4, and today the scale said 141.4, if I'm correct. So is that three pounds? No, it was 138.9 or something. So it's like two and a half pounds, um, whatever. Something like that, I have it written down in there. Either way, the scale's up and I don't appreciate it. I don't like seeing 141 when I was expecting to see. Here's what I was expecting to see. There was part of me that was like, I've been sick, you know, I feel, you know, I feel like I've been sick and I've lost some weight, but like realistically, and it was funny because Michael was saying, you probably ate a lot less. I'm like, no, I really didn't. Cause I was eating, um, it was either because of being sick and my throat hurting and, and really hurting to swallow anything solid combined with my dental work. So I could really only chew on one side or whatever. Literally what I've been eating for, and it seems like the better part of two weeks. I mean, I have not had any turkey meatloaf. I haven't been eating fish. I've been eating chicken. I've been eating my overnight oats. Sometimes I would just make myself a, I've just been living on carbs, you guys. Like a lot of carbs, barely any protein. I would make myself my scrambled egg whites. But um, I also, earlier this week, I told him, I'm like, I just, all I want, and both Danielle and I were sick, I'm like, all I want is a piece of pizza. And it wasn't about like cheating or eating bad food. I was just like, that's what I feel is good on my throat. And I wasn't gonna obsess about, oh, I need to eat my protein. Because the fact of the matter is, outside of having a protein shake, with this mouth and the soreness in the teeth, there was no way. And let me tell you, it hurt like hell to eat those pieces of pizza, but I ate them. So I've had nothing but carbs. I've had pizza um, and haven't worked out. So this week I haven't worked out Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, five days in a row, really. Um, so it just worked out today. So considering the fact that really for the better part of six to seven weeks, I've been off the game and really in some way off the eating game or off the working out because of the pain that I've been dealing with. You know, like I would come home and then it would be really bad and I have to go to bed. So I'd skip a workout there or, you know, every time I got the dental work done, all I could eat was like mashed potatoes and, and oatmeal for the, for the next couple of days and then being sick. So considering all of that, I can understand why that scale is up. And I also know it's temporary. So again, you guys, I'm using the scale as, as an accountability tool, but I also know I was going through my closet and trying on clothes. I'm babbling on way too long today. I was going through my closet and trying on clothes and I mean, my body is still changing every day. Even though I haven't been, been doing my full workouts, even though I've been sick, you know, what the scale says is not a reflection of what I see in my body. It, it just isn't. I really, frankly, the way I was feeling as I was walking around, I really expected that scale to be less. So I'm not, I'm kind of just, you know, getting over it. Can you believe that I've come to that place where I can just get over it? Again, I just look at it like, okay, scale's up. This is what we have to do. We're back at it. I'm going to kick ass. Um, I'm excited as heck because... I'm in Atlanta next week, New York City the week after that, then I'm home for a week, then I go to Portland for a whole week. But either way, um, then when I come back, I think I, don't, I might not be traveling at all in July now, other than uh, vacation. But we will finally be shooting some videos, uh, Michael and I at the gym with me and him, some of his dude friends. Um, <clears throat> we'll shoot some videos uh, and I'm gonna be amping up my training. I got some uh, great yoga stuff to tell you about. And um, I'm excited. So, you know, everything's an opportunity. If I've been sick, now I have the opportunity to come back and just kick ass 
and I have gone almost 15 minutes, so I really need to shut up. I need to make myself some coffee, but I'm glad to be back. I'm thankful. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for my health. Um, I'm so thankful to feel better, and I'm going to be careful. I'm going to get my rest. I'm going to make time for myself and make sure that I... Um, get myself a primary doctor. I haven't even had a primary doctor in five years because I haven't been. Time to take care of things. I've been to the dentist, now it's time to the doctor. I'm gonna go to the lady doctor, all those good things. I'm sure they're gonna wanna put my boobs in one of those. You know, I'm sure it's mammogram time pretty soon. That sounds like fun. I'm like, can't you just do this? How about, how about we do this? Well, I, I'd probably still have to have mammograms if you have fake boobs. I was thinking like you could just scoop these puppies out, put some fake ones in, and then <laughs> that was probably a really dumbass thing to say. That doesn't prevent anything, does it? <laughs> Wishful thinking. And don't start lecturing me that I'm not getting a boob job because I've wanted one since I was 22 and I'm going to get it. I'm a fan of robo boobs and don't hate me for it. And if you do, sorry. I'll see you guys tomorrow.